Hi friends. Last Sunday, we expressed our gratitude for children and our commitment to serve them. We extend our love and support to children around the world through Operation Christmas Child and Watoto Read. And we serve the children in our own community through Sunday School and Children's Choir, Vacation Bible School, Confirmation Class, Youth Group, attending their academic, athletic, musical, and theatrical events, and simply by being loving family and friendly neighbors. The reason we care so much about children is that Jesus did, and we want to be like Jesus. The Gospel writer Luke records that people were bringing even infants to Jesus that he might touch them. And when the disciples saw it, they sternly ordered them not to do it. But Jesus called for them and said, Let the children come to me and do not stop them, for it is to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. Truly I tell you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will never enter it. I've been thinking about characteristics of children and their faith that serve as models for us. First, children are active. <laughs> They use their entire body to worship and to express their faith. That's why we sing songs with hand motions. That's why we dance at vacation Bible school. That's why we incorporate crafts and games into our teaching. Like children, we need to engage our whole self, mind, heart, soul, and body in worship and in expressing our faith. Worship is more than just sitting quietly in a pew. It's living our life actively and differently because Jesus is in it. Faith isn't contained in our heart and mind. Faith is poured out in our voice, our hands, and feet. Secondly, and closely related to activity, is that children are enthusiastic they generally approach life with excitement. Jackson, my three-year-old buddy here at church, is a prime example. He loves coming to church and seeing his friends of all ages. He is all smiles when he is here. His mom told me that a couple of weekends ago, he woke up on a Saturday and asked, are we going to church today? <laughs> Faith isn't a drag, it's energizing. <laughs> Worship isn't a bore, it's inspiring. Church isn't an obligation, it's a joy. Third, children learn by practicing. Whether it's walking, talking, athletics, spelling, mathematics, or any other skill, children learn through practice. We don't expect them to be perfect but we celebrate improvement and growth. In order for us to learn God's ways, to learn to pray, to learn to live like Jesus, to learn to forgive ourselves and others, we have to practice. We shouldn't expect to be perfect every time, but we are always growing in our faith and improving in our expression of it. Fourth, and finally for today, children can accept mystery. Now, I know they ask a lot of questions to try and figure things out, like the endless series of why. <laughs> but despite all of their questions and their curiosity, children can live without having all the answers. Mystery can be harder for adults. Somehow we've come to believe that anything worth believing, and certainly anything that is true, must have a rational explanation. Now, while there are plenty of characteristics and actions of God that we can know and understand, there is vastly more about God that is beyond our imagination, let alone our rationality. <laughs> Childlike faith accepts the reality of mystery. As you reflect on your faith and expression of it, 
If it's not quite what you'd like it to be, don't beat yourself up. Keep practicing. <laughs> we are all continually growing and maturing, which is another characteristic of children that makes them good models for the kingdom of God. Thanks for listening. I'll see you again next week.